Sure. Uh, so what has happened uh, just over the past uh, 10 or 15 years is that the uh, first major deployments of uh, GPON, which is uh, the largest pond system uh, in the world, uh, are uh, reaching completion, uh, reaching almost a billion uh, customers now. Uh, and now what we see is that uh, that large installed base is being converted to 10 GPON technologies. And the growth of that system is increasing uh, year by year right now. So in the ITU, uh, one of the most important things is to consider the continuity and the evolution capability of the network and its technology. Uh, so in ITUT, there's a study group 15 and there's question two, uh, which works on this optical access technology. Uh, there was a study program that was started to consider what should be the next step after uh, 10 GPON. And uh, the uh, results of that was to uh, begin work on a, a 50 GPON uh, standard. Uh, and so that has uh, developed into a series of recommendations, which uh, were completed um, uh, just over the past uh, year. It was recently uh, augmented with some new features uh, this year, just in September. Uh, so the, the standardization is substantially complete for the 50G pump. So 50G pawn was selected because it seems to be the, the right technology at the right time. So uh, the major operators around the world have uh, figured out that they can manage to deploy maybe one access network every 10 years. They can't go any faster than that. Um, since they began deployment of XGPON in say uh, 2016, that means that they're going to be looking towards the middle of this decade before they start to think about the next generation. So in that time till 2025 or so, uh, we have the time to develop whatever technology is necessary to make the 50 GPON uh, work. In addition, when they go, do an upgrade, they want to have at least a four times increase in bandwidth so that it's just the, the all of the overhead and costs associated with deploying a new system is, is kind of worth it, right? If, if you have only a small increment of bandwidth, it's really not worth all of the trouble to deploy a new system. So 50 GPON seems to be the right system available at the right time. So yes, so the, the majority of operators uh, are set on a 50 GPON uh, future. However, there are a few uh, companies that are interested in talking about other uh, PON systems. Uh, indeed, uh, one company uh, on the one hand likes to talk about 25 GPON, but then also has a lot of work on 100 GPON, which is kind of a diversion in both directions. Uh, however, uh, it seems that because the majority of operators are set on 50 GPON, that's going to be where the volume is. And with the highest volume system, you're going to have the lowest cost ultimately, because it's a lot of the costs of these systems are fixed costs. If you can amortize them over a larger volume, you will always you know, do better in terms of the unit cost. So for those reasons, I think uh, 50 GPON will win out in the end. <laughs>